there are four layers in the rainforest. The forest floor is the bottom layer. It is gigantic and stretches as far and wide as the forest. It is made up of leaves, roots, shoots, branches, soil and decaying matter. It is where the roots of the rainforest begin and is a very important part of the rainforest ecosystem. It is where nearly all plant and animal life begins and also where life ends. It is usually shady and damp. This is the perfect habitat for insects, bacteria and fungi to breed. The forest floor is also the habitat of many other animals such as large cats and deer or reptiles, snakes, who find comfort in the cool shade and can hide away from predators in the undergrowth or keep a watch their unsuspecting prey. Seeds and fruit fall to the forest floor. If they are not eaten up by an animal or insect, then often the seeds will try to take root and start to begin the journey of growing upwards to the next layer of the rainforest. The rotten fruit, leaves, branches and animals that die in the rainforest decompose on the forest floor. They leave essential nutrients that are absorbed into the soil. These nutrients are taken in by the trees and plants. They are very important and keep the rainforest healthy. Rivers and streams play a large part in the process of new life and decay. They carry decaying matter and debris through the forest. The minerals and vitamins also crumble into the water and provide healthy nutrients to plants and bacteria in the water and on the riverbanks. Rainforest understory layer The rainforest understory layer is above the forest floor and below the forest canopy. It is the most colourful part of the rainforest sandwich. In this layer, there are many strange and wondrous tropical plants and flowers. Flowers, such as the orchid, can be found in the understory layer, where the climate is warm and damp, a perfect place for plants and animals to thrive. These flowers and plants contribute to the important process of pollination and seed dispersion. Pollination is the reason why the rainforest keeps growing and developing. Without the process of pollination, all plants and animals would die. The brightly colored flowers that hang in the rainforest underlay attract many birds, bats, insects, and animals. They spread the pollen by carrying the pollen from flower to flower. The pollen transfers from the male to the female parts of the plants and flowers. This starts the process of germination. Birds and animals also help to disperse seeds throughout the rainforest. They eat the fruit and seeds that grow on the plants and trees. The seeds then get carried away on their fur or in their waste. The seeds eventually fall to the ground and grow into new plants and trees. The rainforest underlayer is usually humid and damp. You can find lizards, snakes, insects, bats. The humidity in the understory layer helps to keep lots of animals and plants hydrated in the tropical heat. In this layer, there are hidden caves and hollow trees that make the perfect dens or hiding places for bats or large cats and bears. Canopy Trees The canopy layer of the rainforest is the thickest part of the rainforest layer. It can take one rain droplet 10 seconds to fall to the floor because there are so many leaves. This is the part of the rainforest layers that takes the most sunlight, blocking the rays from the understory layer and forest floor. The canopy sits below the emergent layer of the rainforest and above the understory. This is where monkeys swing from lianas and birds roost in the trees away from predators. Lots of different tropical fruit, like bananas and mangoes, grow in the forest canopy. There is plenty of sunlight to help the fruit to ripen and grow lovely and large. This abundance of fruit and leaves is the perfect habitat for bats, monkeys, squirrels, sloths and tropical birds like toucans and parrots. The thick trees and twisting liana vines make the canopy layer of the forest the most crowded. The canopy layer is around 10 meters thick and prevents about 95% of sunlight reaching the lower understory level and forest floor. 
The canopy layer is even hotter than the understory layer because of the amount of trees and plants growing so closely together. It can feel a little claustrophobic. The emergent layer. The emergent layer is the very top of the rainforest. It is known as the sunlit zone. In the treetops, the climate can change drastically. It can become very windy. The treetops up in the emergent layer catch the full rays of light from the sun and the maximum force of tropical thunderstorms. The emergent layer is made up of some of the oldest and tallest trees in the rainforest. These trees can grow up to 76 meters tall and some have enormous thick trunks at nearly 5 meters wide. This is the layer where the magic really happens. The wind blows seeds and pollen across the rainforest, helping with the process of pollination and keeping the rainforest actively alive. The many birds, bats, butterflies and bees that live up high in the emergent layer also help with the process of pollination and seed dispersal. It is only the animals and birds that can fly or sing from branch to branch like monkeys or squirrels that can live so high up in the windy treetops of the rainforest. These can be difficult conditions to live in, and the climate can change all the time. It can move from boiling hot to torrential rain or extreme wind in a very short space of time. The animals and birds that live in this top layer of the rainforest have to learn to adapt quickly 